So this is a uh, very first interview with uh, Jonas, Tim, and Henrik from Avatar from Sweden. Thank you guys so much for no taking problem. the time to, uh, to do this with us, and thank you again so much for the beer, <laughs> Sweden, Swedish hospitality. Um, so I guess the, really the first thing that we're going to do is you know introduce everybody. Jonas, what do you do? I guitars. Tim. I play flutes. Play flutes. Guitar. Skin flutes. I play guitar. Okay. Yeah. And Henry. And I play the bass. Yeah. And he plays the bass. So, for any of the people that have not experienced an Avatar show yet, uh, or if they're just like, you know, they've heard about you but they haven't actually seen, what would you say pretty much sums up an Avatar concert experience? It's everything put together. Uh, what we do with the. Uh, the flags, yeah, the that's yeah, yeah, uh, theatrical, the theatrical side really cool. of it, combined with the music, I would say, and the uh, you know uh, the whole performance as well, you know, and then we yeah. don't just stand on stage and play, you know, we yeah. perform. Like, yeah, I definitely. I mean, that's one of the first things that captivated me was how much of a visual yeah. show as it is, as much as a yeah. as a as a musical. Try to work all together. You know, seeing a live show. For me, at least, the visual is more important than the sound. Well, you know, it has to sound good, but sure. you no, know, if you want it to sound good. perfect, it's not you, can, look. you can sit at home and listen to the album. Good point. Yeah. So it's got to be something that you can enjoy to yeah, see as well. Something special. That's good. Um, I know you guys have probably been asked this a lot before, but the bit, the, the background for Avatar, like, how did it? In, in, in short, how did it how did it really start, and who did it start with? Um, me and John. You and John. We were planning playing tennis together when we were thirteen or fourteen. Okay. And at the time, John had another band at the music school, and I had another band as well. Okay. And we had a concert on the same place at the same night, and I didn't know that John was playing and he didn't know that I was playing. Oh wow. So after the show he came up and asked me if I wanted to join his new band. Really? At the, uh, as a keyboard player. But I had just started to play guitar so I joined as a guitarist he said. Okay. So and then it's a lot of history like back and forth with the, the <laughs> members coming and going. Uh, and for a while we quit the band. Oh, you did? Because it was, like a, it was just me and John. Okay. And then Johannes came back and we started from the beginning as Avatar. Nice. When we were about 16. Okay. So the lineup as it is right now, how long is you, how long have you guys been? I, I joined the band like <coughs> early 2012. Okay. Yeah, so since then. Since then. Uh, I joined them here. 12, 12, 12, 12 years ago. Yeah. Wow. Like so right. a lot of people don't even realize how long you guys have been around. No, it's it's yeah. you guys have made a big splash. Because it's all more all recent. pretty new over here. It's, yeah, and it's uh, like oh. we only put out two albums here. But then three more in Europe. So. so the response for your European fans has been always has always like has it always been strong before it really hit big over here or? Well, we we've done pretty well in Europe, but you know it really never it really happened like big time. You know. Yeah. Right on. So, so it's great to see you guys back here again. It's been like a year, yeah. or close to a year to now. So, and it's it's great to be back. It's great to have you back. Um, do you have any plans? I know you're just you've just pre pretty much got here, you know, a week or so ago. Do you have any plans of coming back this year, or are you still? Is it going to be a little bit further on? Do you think? Or? Nothing's really confirmed. But, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that. That's cool. There. The plan as it is now, because we have to write a new album, yeah, and we got that shit we're going to record it in the fall, so I think what we will try to do is to come back here in September, maybe. Really? 
No, nothing is confirmed yet. That's but, confirmed. Yeah, well, that's what that was actually going to be another one of the questions is how, if you can say, how far along the new record is, and when you might could expect some little teasers or some or something, something about that. It's just too early to tell. Yeah. 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 We don't even know the songs yet. No. <laughs> okay. Just you know, cool. ideas, riffs, and yeah. whatnot. You know, just trying to get combining things. That's cool. Together. Um, talking a little bit about the the, the Europe. Uh, exposing the Europe ex European experience versus you know America and maybe even other parts of the world is it much of a difference you know touring and performing in Europe do you get more energy uh, how is it over there versus let's say over here the, I would say the energy is the same but in different kind of uh, let's say like in different ways like every Europe, European yeah. country is some so different from each other you know so yeah. Yeah. Crowds are very different from country to country too. Yeah, I can imagine that yeah. if, uh, I mean, some countries don't get shows there a lot, so yeah, I'm not exactly. sure when they get exactly. yeah. when they get something. It's probably like like we did this run with uh, Halloween uh, a few years ago, and, and we played like Bulgaria, and Greece for the first time. Yeah, um, um, so I would say we're yeah. amazing because I guess that that was the reason they didn't get a lot of shows. Yeah. And, yeah. That's that's cool. Actually happens. Yeah. Um, have you guys thought about the future for Avatar in the sense of, you know, bands that start out and eventually grow up and become like you know huge arena bands? I know you guys have played everything from small bar type clubs up to I mean you got well, you got you got Bakken this year. Yeah. yeah. You got first you got, time. First time you guys yeah. are playing Bakken this year. That's like probably the dream place yeah. for yeah. any metal band to play. Yeah. So. Are you just taking it as it comes, or do you have any aspirations to be, you know, the the next Metallica? Or I mean, I mean, how do you guys? Is it just day by day, or have you have any kind of? Well, the goal has always been to be a really big band. Yeah, and yeah, you know, yeah. do like real shows, or what to say, you know, with production yeah. and everything. Yeah, where we can do what what we basically want to do, you know, give the ultimate show, you know. That's awesome. And in, I think for myself, and probably for a lot of your fans. That the experience of an Avatar show is not so much what they see on stage, but what they experience afterwards and just interacting with you guys. You guys are great with the fans, and I hope that I really hope great things for you, and I hope that that stays yeah. as part of it. I hope you get to be as big as Metallica, but not as much. As <laughs> <laughs> you know, like don't become Lars, <laughs> you know, or anything like that. Yeah. No, well, so as long as it's possible, we will always come out to meet fans. Yeah. And perfect. Does that mean that's just, it's it's so awesome? It makes you guys just that much more awesome. It's yeah, hearing it's about the different stories and the, and the stories that other fans get to tell. And it's and the experiences like this. We wouldn't it, be able to do this without the fans. No, we we do this. The first reason we do this is because we love the music and we love touring and we love the fans. So yeah. without that, we wouldn't do it. It's great. Um, older songs. Somebody was asking. Uh, <laughs> You're, you're, you, you've only been in the band since, like we said, 2012, but like some of the older stuff, like people were asking, you know, do you think that they'll play stuff like, you know, Queen of Blades, you know, Roadkill, you know, some you know, of the older stuff, yeah. being, would it fit into the set lists that you guys are, are filling in now? You or? know, it's, it's funny because, you know, all the earlier records, the first one, second one, you know, uh, I was a big fan, Avatar fan when I was like 15, 16 years old, so I learned all the songs, you know, I can play all those. So it's pretty funny, like, we had a rehearsal one day and I have to learn everybody in the song when we started. <laughs> we, we forgot about yeah. them, so we had to, to teach us. Yeah. 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 You have to teach me the stuff I wrote. That you wrote, yeah. yeah. That's ironic. But you know, from that particular album, that Avatar, that stuff that we have, we, we've done, like, Queen of Blades. We yeah, have, uh, we have never played Lullaby, though, but no. we used to play Roadkill before. Yeah. So, really? I guess we will do it eventually. Yeah, it'll happen, you know, it'll happen for sure. That's cool. Um, I'd like to ask each of individual you guys just a funny question. If Jonas, if you could choose two bands to tour with, whether they are still a band or not, which two well, bands would you want to tour with and why? Iron Maiden, of course, okay. because okay. it's my all time favorite. Perfect. And maybe Slipknot. Really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's a great band, and I think we would make up a pretty good match. Uh, I would say slip down too because yeah, you know it's the theatrics. Yeah, we get the yeah. whole package, you know, it'd be awesome. And 
Van Halen. Not because we would not <laughs> like fit in with the Van Halen, but just touring with them to see them every night was sure. awesome, you know. Yeah. I love it. And I know you take a lot of uh, uh, oh yeah, inspiration. Uh, inspiration yeah. from 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 Eddie. Man, so yeah. yeah, he's the man. What about you, Henry? Uh, Black Sabbath. Oh, uh, sure. Slayer. Slayer. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Slayer. Yeah. No, not because of the match. <laughs> yeah, I love the bands. That's yeah. right. Definitely. They are. They are. They do. Have you seen them? Have you seen Slayer? Yeah. yeah. They are great. I've seen them twice. Yeah. It's 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 always a great show and it's always a lot of a lot of fun. Yeah. 